friends, flips out the group and up Polaroid comes through, hits onto the Shadow Demon as well as always want to fly, uh, 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 always want to fly an Undershock. But it's then out of blast, but it looks like the destruction is going to go, it puts Bunga into a good position, the boss comes through, Earth Spirit right clicks the Juggernaut down and then gets taken down himself, the Astral one more right click, no! Outlaw Devourer, the Weaver is going to be able to take that with the last hit. It looks like he took it with the Swarm, the cask bounces through. After life down, he would have been able to find that kill. And you have a disruption, Shadow Poison, instant TP from the Earth crew, but I think TMW goes down. Ooh, one more right click, always want to fly, gonna finish that up. He may pay with his life, and just look at that ward coming out of the Vance Cup. What's that from? From the healing ward. Of all things, always want to fly, gonna get themselves away. That's just. Taking through, doing Denied. stupid, stupid things to the witch doctor. Love that so I love a one. Oh, Bogner walks up with a nether blast, takes the witch doctor down onto the top lane as well. Maybe even take a tier one tower on this top lane. How well devoured them, looking for a trade of his own. Blink forward by Afterlife, 11 in the blink on him. Power strike. Sun King. Got epicenter, 2 seconds. I do want to try and turn this around. Weaver going to blow this move again in the game. The going to come out as well. The death not doing a lot of work. Let me check. He's going to be able to TP himself away. Cedo looks looking to come through on the back, maybe able to take down the Shadow Team, and that's it for now. But Young Slash coming through, Roger getting pretty low, is enough mana for a spin the race now that the Mango was used. Yoki. He's able to have the third, the epicenter for a strike through, which got to get him really, really low, and the Sand King is going to be able to right click him down with the Caustic Finale. Satchlo, the life. Boro strikes himself away to move the Outlaw Devourer, the, the Sanctus Eclipse is going to go into Yoki, one more right click from the Outlaw Devourer might be enough, and they're going to be able to take this down. Flipside Cedar does secure the kill, but Ungman's coming through in the back lines, there is the Nether Blast as well as... Oh my god, the Weaver just popped. Light Brain has already been used, but Satchlo can just be, carry on being Nether Blasted down. One more Nether Blast is going to find us a blink forward, and it's actually going to be the Sand King that secures that kill. So, overall, 4 for 3. Died. Batrider is trying to make a, an entrance. But I don't think it's going to be before they lose this tier 3 tower. Oh, Barrody do get the last one, still going to cut out for the Shadow Demon, there goes the Stanley Team's Eclipse as well, Roger getting pretty low though, the speed coming out from Yoki does for getting him, just going to keep most people alive, um, so the Shadow Demon, call the Earth Spirit, but no epicenter committed just yet, no Omni Slash use, Pugna again can use the Life Drain whenever he wants. I think flip side, if they drag this out for another 10 minutes on the shock, not even going to need the last so just look at that. Oh, Sans is eclipsed, but he did get the repel off in time. No fear, the Cedoy, Horror Strike. He'll send through as well tomorrow on pretty low life. How many slides are going to come through? But those he has one person to keep him alive for now. Spin's going to be there, the close come through there as well. Got lassoed, it was actually the Juggernaut that got lassoed. Horror Strike's gonna be off the back as well, and Gilkey is gonna be taken down. Cedoy again. Rankin Spear after life with the, the Lotus Sword on it. Couple more right clicks. Right, one more right click from. Now the Repel's gonna be there, stopping that damage coming through, but the only knight is gonna pay with his life and put up Link forward from the Outworld Devourer. Dyer's top tower is under attack. Blink in by Satchlo, the last one is going to be there, but the slow reactions and there's the disruption. First strike comes through, Satchlo gets the last now onto the sand from the right is coming through from the outworld of Arrow, just clean that kill up. Roger trying to force this ball to Sidoi. Right clicks with Desolator. Blink and Spears popped, there's the disruption. Central Ward is down. 
Because you time out, time out's available, but he doesn't even need to use it. Baldur comes through three heroes in the back line. But all we're gonna get for now is the sanking. I'm in your debt. Juggernaut, Samus is eclipsed, he's Yoki. Getting pretty low, the death ball is gonna go, but it's not gonna reach Undershot for much longer. He does, rolling ball with control. Both fans come to the wrong. Guardian's aim is gonna pop up Undershot. Looks like he's gonna be taken down. The right click now coming to no fear. One more right click for the Rose, but just keeping on the level on the Valorous. Maladix lose the epicenter is there as well. DKD was on C Dark for the first couple of parts of that. Low Silver on C Yoki. But uh, the right click's coming through, but the Burrow Strike as well. Afterlife, I think he goes down. Is there a bit more Maladix? No. Always one of five going to go down though. And Afterlife blinking himself away to safety only just. Oh, the rest of the flip side are up here. I think all the flip side, all the flip side are up here, yeah. Just taking down this tier 3 tower. But you've got to remember they've got exposed the last game. It's going to be pop of lasso. Look at that, it's a, it's a load of sort of lasso keeping them both in place. The health train's coming out from under shock. We didn't even get this tier 3. Omni Knight taking down the Earth Spirit as well. Weaver just back themselves up. The sun coming out. I don't think for some reason. The witch actor gets himself out of that. Bottom the bottom lane, just look at the troops pushing in. How well Devourer backs himself up. Lasso again, Omni Knight's gonna feel it this time. The right clicks as well as the Nardic. Weaver taking him down. Team W once again getting the asshole imprisonment. On the shot. Has to pop his PKB, always gonna buy it for the right clicks. But there's the cast of Sanity's Eclipse. Death Ward's not going to hit onto him while he's in the Ghost Bomb, but TMW blinks himself forward after that. Right clicks him down. He kills off the Shadow Demon. TMW's BKB pops on the shot. Don't think he can take up a lot of those right clicks. There's the Lotus up. Don't come through from the Bolt Smash. Four staffs himself out of that Burrow Strike. That's such a clutch, but the only Slash is going to come through. Onto the Sidoi, he uses the timeouts, might even be able to take down Afterlife here. One more right click and the heals coming through from the Pugna. Roshan taking a surprisingly long time, enough time for Flipside to try and move themselves down into this. There goes the smoke, Bone Smash comes through, it's going to stun up all three heroes to stun the silence as well. The Master Shot's going to get him out of that as a Hex. Omni Slash can throw him to the Earth Spirit. Is there going to be anything to save his life? It doesn't look like it is, but Earth Shaker, Earth Shaker, Earth Spirit goes down once more. Sanking does buy back for this stuff. So. Omni Shot taking a lot of damage, that ward doing work from the healing ward. Um, coming up from the Shot, it looks like. Omni Shot, time lapse back, burst the dust. Lincoln Spear is popped. Meanwhile, the Sanctus Eclipse goes from TMW. Oh, it's on the flight, gonna die. Yoki, couple more right clicks. There's the epicenter as well. One more right click. Aegis is popped. No fear being taken down as well by TMW. Wants to carry on going. There's the actual imprisonment to keep himself alive for now. Cancelling off that health plane. But on the shock, Duke's out. That Nether Blast looks up, gonna be there, TMW, is he gonna be able to get himself away? No charge, he's now on the Diffusal Blade, but I don't think he gets himself out, there's the Astral Imprisonment, Blink Dagger, gets himself up onto the high ground, Satchel is gonna be there to back him up as well, Yoki, is he gonna be able to get the lasso off, he is, don't bring him towards TMW, my god, the Hex is gonna be there, but, Yoki doesn't go down, TMW gets taken down by the Pugna first, and it's just gonna be Satchel up against the Undershock, Earth Spirit's trying to get there as fast as he can, Sticky Napalm stacking up, one more Flame Break off cooldown in a second to push him back Links himself forward, the right click's gonna be there, the health spin's gonna be there as well Yule Scepter, Undershock And the Witch Doctor boots and travels himself in Gets the Death Ward off and finishes up the Pugna Good god man So they want to go for an engagement, the Barrider is already going to be taken down, the Lotus up, comes through the four staff forward, first strike up in the next five seconds, Sandstone going to keep him safe for now, buyback instantly by the Bat Rider. 
starts to work, you want to draw, you want to find something, you want to be able to push it in. Meanwhile, the mid lane is going to be pushing in with no racks to work. Last look, going to be right back on the Pug, now Pug is getting absolutely no harass. Kind of spirit's gone down there as well, but what is it, a Weaver? He needs to be right clicking his down. He's already. Deadpool is going to be there as well. Epi sent it to come through on the Furrow Strike. BKB is going to stop by TMW. So there's the Astro and Pudgy. He's going to sank and go away for now. It's going to be BKB up against BKB. TMW is going to be up to get himself away. No Frost after the next 8 seconds. Frost after away by the Batrider, it looks like. And the right click's coming out onto no fear from Sidori. Just look at him now. One right click and out will devour. How much intelligence has he stole for now? Only 12 for now. And flip side, even though they have lost the Witch Doctor as well as the Earth Spirit, they can carry on chasing. Just chase down the Shadow Demon that's been slowed up one right click. And just look at the damage. There's the Ghost after coming out for now, keeping him alive. But I think the Weaver is going to be able to clean this up. Nearly gone down there as well. TMW, do we want to go for this? The Blink Pole onto the Burrow Strike. Are the four staff going to get TMW away? Blinks himself out. Blink just look at the Weaver trying to chase down the Pugna. Blink and Sphere, the report of the Lotus Sub is there. Stone coming out onto the Shadow Demon as well. Right click coming through from the Juggernaut, but I don't think he's going to be able to make much of a difference. The only slice come through now, it does actually take down the Weaver. And that's 97 seconds. Burrow Strike comes through onto the Earth Spirit. Milky Force steps him forward. Are they going to try and pull this back? The Sansa Slip goes, but. Firebacks instantly coming out from the Weaver as well as the Sand King. TMW might go down here as well. Yeah. He does have the buyback if you want to use it as well as the Boots of Travel. Looks like they want to anyway. Smoke's coming out. Weaver. Try and move forward and Roshan is not down yet, it is just about to go down but he can try and still take a fight. One comes forward, onto two in the pit. No fear there's the first striker on the background. It looks like the Bat Rider is going to go down without getting off. Aegis is popped, so Omni Knight that picked that up goes down. And yeah, Flipside need to back themselves away, they don't have the Bat Rider now for the next 95 seconds. And they've got to know there's no Omni Knight now for the next 54 seconds. One more right click, that is the mid tower going down, exposing the racks. And it looks like Flipside just want to carry on going on the enemy's racks after like getting himself out and there's the drive back onto the Pugna. Pugna is getting really low to take him down, instantly buys back himself, guilty with the only slice through. Gonna carry on bouncing Cedo with his future away. Get a spirit down with the drained health but doesn't matter, I think Flipside, did he want to carry on fighting this? Ryan certainly do, Afterlife going to force that himself forward. There's the photo strike as well, are we waiting on the epicenter? Not going to use that yet, Hex coming out onto the Weaver. Weaver, he's got the time lapse away, but it's not going to be enough. He has the buyback and he can't time lapse back, he's got back up there if he wants to, but... going to be three heroes down on the side of Flipside. Kind of evens things up now, and it looks like... Friends don't want to stop, they want to move on to the top lane. Netherblast going to be doing a lot of damage to the melee racks on top lane. Meanwhile, Juggernaut trying to play Silly Buggers on the bottom lane, take down the enemy's bottom racks. Outwall Devourer though takes down the Juggernaut. Wait for the Sanity of Eclipse. The Silence comes out onto the Omni Knight, the drag back from the last room onto the Pugna as well. Afterlife, Flow Strikes, through, stones up the Earth Spirit. Omni Slash, drag back instantly from. A lot of things happen instantly here, but the buyback coming through from the Juggernaut, that's one person we're going to keep the Weaver from the spin, the buyback from, from the Earth as well. So Kuchi away, he gets himself out, he needs to heal himself up for the time lapse, the effective. There's the Death Lord coming out onto the Pugna, getting really low, that Lotus us up. I wouldn't survive. The Afterlife, we're going to carry on chasing this. Lemon and Dump, Weaver picks up his boots again. Trades off the Deadless, it looks like. I always want to fly. Taking down no buyback in 90 seconds. But friends, have the racks advantage. Sedoi, so if you want to try and make a move, just going to go up to the top rack. Lincoln Sphere pops, Weaver. 
decent cover left, so it is there, the blitz forward, stuns comes out onto the outlaw devourer, sees himself four stacked out, couldn't be up for now, and just look at the amount of damage coming out, the next one out, Weaver, maybe taking down, yet. Yeah. Does have the buyback, instantly buys back, can he time lapse himself back in? The only slash he can come through from it, does not speak into the Ron Yogi. Getting a bit far forward from his team, Zerg is the epicenter as well, but it's not going to be able to fall off a lot of damage there. Burst Strike comes through onto the outlet of Aura. Getting pretty low himself, but he does still have the A's. This works really well, if Weaver dies, that's his dieback. Weaver is down for the next 123 seconds. TMW may be taken down, and that's what impresses from Zerg, that's what comes through. And not a one from Trent, it's going to take... It's going to be a full five man, whatever it looks like, coming out on the side of flip side. Cask is going to bounce through, there's the outlaw devourer using the Aegis, trying to run himself away, but it's not going to be for so much longer. First of the off, keep him in place, for a strike comes through, he's stunned up, taken down, down for the next 100 seconds, and I think, I think if friends know this, that's game. Boots of Travel up, Boots of Travel 2 on the Juggernaut, Boots of Travel 2 on the Pugna, Boots of Travel up on the Shadow Demon, Boots of Travel on the Omni Knight, they're going to go and try and end this game. Buyback coming through from the Batrider, but I don't think he's going to be able to hold this for very much longer. The last two, driving back, Buyback coming through. Did he just get that back? I think he must have done. TMW though, being text up, taken down, right click. And Shadow Demon <laughs> takes him down. That is game. You can drag it out for as long as you want to, but it's going to be three, four towers being pressured out. You can take down all three of the right to back riders, going to have the last row for the next. Only 30 seconds, spin coming out as well onto the tower. Right clicks, the cax bounces through, but again, all five heroes. Yogi is rolling ball is through, but that's dead, dead to that spirit. And as much as Flipside want to hold this back, they are just going to be taken out again. Good game, well played, it is called, so that's game one of three. Going up, friends, dragging the victory past the 60 minute mark once again.